you've probably already tried a whole variety of methods when it comes to regrowing your hair. You've probably clicked on this video because you're wondering what MSM is and whether or not MSM will be an effective part of your hair care routine to help you regrow your hair. In this video, we're going to look at exactly what MSM is and we're going to come up with some scientific based conclusions to whether or not it's going to help you regrow healthy hair. So guys, before we get into the video on MSM, if you are worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is you can click the link in the description and one of our hair guard specialists will give you a full analysis of your hair. All you've got to do is click the link and then upload a hair selfie. So what we're going to look at in this video today is we're going to look what MSM is. We're going to talk about how it works. We're going to talk about the scientific research surrounding MSM. Then we're going to talk about how you can start supplementing with MSM. We'll talk about the recommended dosages. We'll look at a few of the brands and then we'll come up with a short conclusion. So guys, you're probably wondering what MSM is. So it's a sulfur rich organic compound that is used in a variety of industries, including health and beauty, pharmaceutical and food. It's known by a few other names, including DMSO2, methyl sulfone, dimethyl sulfone, and it's found abundantly in nature, as sulfur is one of the building blocks of life. So how exactly does MSM work? To understand how MSM works, to promote hair growth, let's first take a look at the structure of hair. The shaft of hair is made up of a three layered structure. On the inside is the medulla. Surrounding the medulla is the cortex, the most fibrous part of the hair strand, which contains mostly keratin and structural lipids. On the outside of the hair is the cuticle, consisting of dead skin cells, which form a protective layer around the hair. Focusing in on the cortex and its keratin based structure, we find a sulfur rich environment. Now as mentioned, Sulfur is a building block of life, is one of the most abundant elements within the human body and there's no doubt that it contributes significantly to health and wellness. And just before we continue, if you see those brackets and then a number, it means that we're citing some kind of academic literature or scientific research. So if you are interested in furthering your knowledge, check the link in the description and we provide all those papers for you. So to continue, uh, you're probably wondering how MSM can contribute to hair growth. So the hair growth cycle consists of three stages and they're the anagen, telogen and catagen phase. And for those looking to promote hair growth and reverse hair loss, anagen is the sought after stage. So MSM is thought to either promote the conversion of telogen to anagen or lengthen anagen, mainly due to the deliverance of sulfur to the middle layer of the hair. This both strengthens the strand and encourages further growth. Additionally, MSM also produces significant amounts of both collagen and keratin. These are essential in the development of healthy hair strands. So now what we're going to do is have a look at the scientific research surrounding MSM and hair growth. If you are considering MSM as a hair growth treatment, you're in luck. MSM has been shown to have positive effects on hair growth. A 2009 study aimed to learn whether MSM, when combined with MAP, could be used to effectively treat alopecia in mice. MAP is known to convert hair from telogen phase to anagen phase. Researchers, however, wanted to know whether the addition of MSN could bolster these hair growing effects. First, researchers prepared the mice by shaving their backs and then applying an acid at 80% to complete hair removal. Next, researchers prepared a variety of solutions for use in the study. Some of the solutions contained MAP only, Others contained a combination of MAP and MSN, and still others were controls of either uh, saline or minoxidil. Now, visual scoring of the mice was done as shown on the right, uh, and now we're going to have a look at the results of the study. So what we can see on the next slide is uh, the hair growth scores of six solutions over a number of days. And we can see that here on the right. And what we see is the solution of MAP and MSN 10% has the best scores overall, which showing increasingly more hair growth at that period of time has increased. And if we have a look, this is a look at the visual um, look of the mice as well. So 
While the study above doesn't focus solely on MSM, it does provide us with some valuable results. The study shows that while MAP alone is effective at promoting hair growth, the solutions containing both MAP and MSM are more effective overall. The more MSM which was present in the dermal solution, the better the results seem to have been. Unfortunately, researchers weren't able to pinpoint the mechanism which makes MSM so effective. However, the results do speak for themselves, showing that MSM could effectively use to treat alopecia in mice. So can you use MSM to promote hair growth? Well, there have, no be there have been no human studies done but there is no reason that similar results cannot be seen on humans as they are shown in the mice. So if you're interested in how you can start supplementing with MSN, that's what we're going to go into now. There are two main ways to supplement with MSM. And the first is to eat more MSM rich foods. It's best to get your nutrients from food sources. And fortunately, there are a, an abundance of them. These sources include fruits, vegetables, grains, beer, port wine, coffee, tea, and cow's milk. Unfortunately, it's not possible to ingest enough MSM from food sources, and that's where supplements can come in. There are a variety of MSM supplements available on the market, though the most common forms include powder, capsule, and tablet. We recommend you choose the supplementation format you're most likely to use on a regular basis, as this plays a key role in how well MSM will work for you. And to take it, you can add the powder to smoothies uh, or just plain water and the capsules and tablets, just take it with food. And if you're sensitive to gastrointestinal side effects, which may occur, um, then take it with food. To lessen the impact of said side effects, begin taking the supplement in doses which are less than recommended. Gradually work your way up to the recommended dose, pulling back and starting again at a lower dose if side effects are noticed. So now we're going to look at the recommended dosage for MSM. As MSN is not currently a drug that is FDA approved for use, there is not yet a universally recommended dosage. There have been studies which show that MSM is safe to take in larger dosages between 500 milligrams and three grams daily, but that doesn't mean you should start with such a high dose. It's always best to speak with your doctor before you decide on a dosage or before you even begin with the supplementation. And when we're looking at brands availability and cost, it's available both online and in stores, and it's typically found in the joint support section of the pharmacy. This is due to its sulfurous makeup, which contributes to inflammation and pain relief. Price will vary by brand and location, though Amazon has a few options ranging from 120 capsules at $7.59 to 240 capsules at $16.09. When choosing a brand, be sure to consider dosage amount. Now, further studies are necessary to better understand MSN's effect on hair growth. However, the current research does give a glimmer of hope to those suffering from hair loss. That being said, there is no such thing as the perfect treatment. So while you may want to consider adding an MSN supplement to your routine, you should be taking a multi-pronged approach to the problem. So guys, that's what we've got for you today on MSM. Don't forget to go down to the description to get your free hair guard analysis. Uh, and if you're not already subscribed, please make sure to hit subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.